Those who have lost a loved one in combat, this day isn't just about memorials, it's also about memories. Yeah, some of those recollections are captured in a brand new tribute in Pasadena for local service members killed since 9-11. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo shows you it was born from loss and love. I got to dwell into the lives of extraordinary people. Renowned sculptor Christopher Sladoff. I've moved the eyes to the right way so they'll focus. Says this is his most challenging project ever. What I've been trying to do is capture a little bit of each of those faces in this one face. Traits of the 10 servicemen and one service woman on what he calls his wall of heroes. These are real people. Real people from the greater Pasadena area who were killed in Iraq or Afghanistan since 9-11. I hope the families are happy. I hope that they feel that society um, is grateful. The statue will go right over there here in Defenders Park on Memorial Day next year. But to honor these warriors, it's got to stop in your tracks. Major impact. Janie Studenmund and others had to go to war with City Hall. It was time that the city of Pasadena paid permanent tribute to those who had lost their lives. She and her friends formed the Enduring Heroes Committee, raised $450,000, contracted Sladoff, and continually made changes to satisfy the city, which had concerns about whether Pasadena could legally put a privately funded statue. On public land. The families joined in to help attending meetings and telling their stories. This is crucial moral support. Some troops in the Middle East even made this video to play for the city council. Mayor Tornick. Yes. The motion is approved without opposition. Pasadena finally accepted the gift, especially touching for Janie because that handsome face on the wall of heroes. And he was one hour from pickup on his last mission. Is her son, Scott Studemont who was killed two years ago. He and his Green Beret team were busy in the most dangerous part of southern Afghanistan, clearing the villages so, of Taliban so that the people could vote. She says she and her friends believed that sacrifice and those of others should not go unhonored. Before he died, before he ran up the ridge, he saved his medic's life. That medic tells his children all about the man who saved him. Now their memories will become shared memories. The flag on the statue will carry personal notes from now 11 families. In January, a new name, Sergeant Joseph Stifter, was added to the memorial. We want people to look at them as brave warriors, as bright lights, as heroes. It's also a bronze reminder of those who loved them and that parents champion their children even after they are gone. It's clear Scott was not the only warrior in his family. I feel blessed to have been his mom. I think he would love it. Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News. Wow, and it really